Okay, so today we will try to understand what is the meaning of thermal diffusivity. Now we know that the differential equation of heat flow by conduction in Cartesian coordinate system is given by the Laplace equation del square t plus q bar upon k is equal to 1 upon alpha dt by dt. Now in this particular case, this del square t it is a Laplace operator. So it is dabba square t by dabba x square plus dabba square t by dabba y square plus dabba square t by dabba z square. And this alpha term that is known as the thermal diffusivity. So in this particular equation, we are having the rate of heat flow by conduction. Then this is the term which will take into consideration the internal heat generation within the body. And this is the rate of change of the internal energy of the given particular system. So due to the conduction and due to the internal heat generation, whatever the changes are there in the internal energy that is represented by this particular term. So dt by dt is how temperature changes with respect to time. So it is a condition correct, which will take into consideration whether it is a steady state or unsteady state. But the term that is alpha, which is important for us. So today we will try to understand what is the meaning of this term alpha that is known as the thermal diffusivity. It is defined as the ratio of thermal conductivity to the rho into Cp. Now we know that the thermal conductivity it is watt per meter Kelvin. Then density of the material it is kg per meter cube specific heat of the material is joule per kg kelvin so this kg kg will get cancelled so it is watt per meter kelvin divided by joule per meter cube kelvin so this particular term that is joule per meter cube kelvin it is nothing but the energy stored per unit volume per unit change in temperature so again if we simplify this kelvin and kelvin will get cancelled one meter will also get cancelled so it is meter square so we can say that it is watt into meter square per joule but we know that watt is nothing but joule per second. So again, this joule, joule will get cancelled and will get meter square per second. But what is the physical significance of this particular term that we have to understand? So here you can see it is nothing but the ability of the material to conduct the heat. So that is watt per meter Kelvin. It is nothing but the thermal conductivity of the material. And here it is the storage of the energy, thermal energy of the storage, thermal energy storage of the material per unit volume, per unit change in temperature. So it is the ability of the material to conduct the heat versus its ability of the material to store the heat. So for example, if we consider the example of large or big forts or temples which are made up of the large stones, then these particular stones, they will have very large thermal storage capacity as compared to the heat conduction or thermal conductivity of the that particular material that is stone and therefore the inside temperature of such particular tempers or force is very less as compared to the outside temperature in other words we can say that the thermal conductivity thermal diffusivity in such cases will be very very small whereas in case of the metallic solids like steel this value of thermal conductivity is very large as compared to its thermal storage capacity so in other words, steel can conduct the heat at a very rapid rate as compared to its storage capacity and therefore the value of thermal diffusivity will be very very large as compared to that of the stones. So in this way we can understand the concept of thermal diffusivity in the heat transfer. Thank you very much.